What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today we have some amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! news for you guys. Uh, we have some confirmation on some reprints that are going to be in the 2018 Megatons, as well as the names for our brand new Elemental Hero that Jaden has right here, and our new uh, Synchro Monster that uh, Yusei has. So yeah, first off for those reprints, because I know you guys are going to be excited. I was worried that these cards might not be in this, but at least these four have been confirmed. So we are going to get a Borlo Dragon, Dragonic Diagram, Evenly Matched, and a Saryusha Skull Dread. So yes, all four of those cards have been confirmed to get reprints in this Megaton. So very happy about that. I was a little bit worried about especially like Borload, just because I think all of us were expecting the Megatons to be about, you know, where uh, one of them would have Firewall Dragon and the other one have Borload. I, I think that was kind of a common thing everyone was thinking. And although I am really excited about a new Elm to Hero and a new, uh, you know, Synchro Monster for you, say, I was kind of worried maybe Borload wouldn't be in this. So it's great to have that confirmed. He is getting a reprint. Like I said, Diagram, that's a good one too. Evenly matched, uh, very pretty pricey card and uh, one that a lot of people need so there you go that should make it a lot easier to get and I'm hoping none of these will be like short print or anything I mean obviously don't know that yet we won't know until people start opening these tents so uh, I'm hoping all these will be easy to get and also Saryuja as well it's just awesome especially though uh, for budget players that bore load and uh, Saryuja uh, because you only need like one of them and like every extra deck one of each of them so Having reprints for both those will definitely help people out. So very excited about that. And like I said, the reason I was kind of worried is that the previous Megatons, really the reprint choices weren't the best in the world. I mean, there were some good ones, but also, you know, like they left out Wind Witches and a lot of things that just didn't make sense, you know? So I'm glad to see that we're starting off really good with these and I'm hoping these will be like some of the best Megatons. Also, too, we do have the names for the new cards, like I said, for uh, Jaden and Yusei. So the new Elemental Hero is going to be uh, Elemental Hero Nebula Neos. So yes, it has been confirmed it will be a Neo Monster, which I, I still love the art for it. I'm, I'm still guessing it's going to be like Dark Panther and uh, and uh, Grand Mole, or uh, the, the two that I feel like are going to be part of the fusion. I don't know if there could be, you know, three Neo Spatians with Neos or what's going on, but I feel like those two have to be the ones because of, you know, the darkness around them and everything and the drills. I mean, that's that's definitely Grand Mole. And then, of course, after that, we have Junk Speeder. So, we do have the name of Yusei's new card. I was kind of hoping it'd be a new Warrior card, but being a new Junk Monster, too, sounds pretty cool. And just from the little write-up they had, I, I uh, read about these, you know, I read through these when they were first revealed, before we had the names. And uh, both sound like they're going to be really good. I I'm really looking forward to seeing what Junk Speeder's going to do, though, because it's supposed to be something that's going to help out Synchro decks, so... I can't wait to see. And hopefully, by then, we'll also have uh, Crystal Needle Fiber. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about these uh, Megatons. You happy about these reprints that have been announced? And uh, also, uh, what other reprints do you want to see from these? Uh, for me, I'm hoping for, of course, Firewall Dragon. Basically, like every Link monster that's tough to get, Hypologic Bomber, and a lot of those to get reprinted. Because, yeah, we need reprints for a lot of these uh, Link monsters. And, uh, I mean, you're getting stuff from, of course, Maximum Crisis all the way to Extreme Force. So I'm also wondering if Ash Blossom could be in this as well. Who knows? Maybe it'd be a lot easier to get, hopefully for me at least, but let me know. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to stay updated with everything Yu-Gi-Oh! As soon as these are out, I'll have an opening on them too, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and also ring that bell, and I will catch you guys later. See ya!